In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Replay Mod for Minecraft 1.14.4 using Fabric. If you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is you guys are going to jump into the description of this video, and there's three different links in there. First one is Fabric, which is going to be uh, fabricmc.net, that's how we kind of, or where we download Fabric as well as the Fabric uh, API. We've also got the replaymod.com download, this is the official site for Replay Mod, and also where we can download uh, the 1.14.4 version. And we're also going to open up ffmpeg.org, and you might be thinking, what does this have to do with any of this replay stuff? Well, in order to render a replay, render a time lapse, that kind of thing, you actually do need uh, ffmpeg to do that. So I'm going to be going through all three of those. So um, yeah, pretty much you don't have to have anything except for Minecraft Java Edition installed uh, in order to start this, so it's nice and easy. So yeah, first thing we're going to do anyway is to actually uh, go onto the fabricmc.net uh, website and we're going to actually go to the main download. So uh, from this main page here we get the installation, uh, we need to get the fabric loader. So if we click on this, which you can download here, bit button there, that'll take us to the download page. And on this download page there's different versions, uh, like old multi-MC, uh, and vanilla etc and so forth. We're going to be doing the vanilla one this time. And then there's two different versions. There's a .exe, which I'm going to start downloading now, um, which is of course just for Windows. But uh, yeah, if you're on something like the Mac or anything like that, you can use the .jar file. Uh, if you do have any problems at all with the .jar file, if you're going down that route, I will put a link in the description to my shaders video or a specific part of my shaders video where I go through uh, how to reinstall Java, uh, which kind of somehow fixes it, and also uh, Java fix as well. Anyway, what we're going to do, because I'm on Windows and it's nice and easy and it uh, kind of runs really well, I'm just going to be um, dragging that .exe file onto my desktop. And then for this, all we do is we just double click it. And once it's done that, you'll get up the Fabric Installer. So Minecraft version, you can select it from here. So you've got the 1.4 versions. Of course, we're going for 1.14.4. You can also see snapshot versions as well, um, if you wanted to. But uh, for us, we're not interested in that. We are just interested in 1.14.4. And always go with the latest version. Um, check that that is your Minecraft install. For me, that definitely is. And we're going to go for Create Profile. We're definitely going to tick that. So hit that Install button, and that's it. Flashed up, and it's done. I'm actually just going to close MultiMC because I did have it open as well. Um, so the next thing we need to do is if we just go onto the Minecraft launcher. Now, quick note, if you had this open at the time of doing it, uh, make sure to close it and reopen it. But if we go on to the installation side, you can now see this 1.14.4 fabric. It's got the fabric loader. Uh, so that is our fabric uh, profile. Uh, what you can do if you want to do, of course, is edit it and rename it. Uh, and also on more options if you want to give it more RAM. You can do that via there, so I've given mine 8 gigs, it's actually carried over from previous settings. But uh, yeah, we don't even need to run it once before adding in mods, which is really cool. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to open up a file explorer. So normal file explorer on Windows, and we're going to, in the uh, kind of like top bar, do percent app data percent. Really, really simple. And I just hit enter on that, and that will take you to your main roaming uh, kind of folders. Then you've got your .minecraft from there, and then in here we'll have mods. So this is where our mods go, same as like Forge mods really, it's the exact same kind of process if you've ever done that. So now what we'll do is that we've got that open, we're going to go back onto our web browser. We're actually going to go back from our fabric.net to the main page, and you'll see this fabric API for Minecraft 1.14 above. Uh, we need to actually go and download that, the reason being, as you can see here, uh, for replay mod it requires fabric and the fabric API. Uh, the API is just something that they've also made, it's really useful, a lot of mods actually use it, so do go on that, so all I did from there was just click on that link, it takes me to Curse Forge, uh, then go on to Files, and then from here we just hit Download, let that go. But yeah, the Fabric API, it's used in most mods, uh, typically if I do a Fabric install I'll always grab the Fabric API because it's just, it's so used with everything. Alright, so anyway, um, what you should get or you might get is uh, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep fabric, uh, blah, 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 dot jar anyway? Click on keep. Um, so this happens with all dot jar files, at least for me, all dot jar files come up and say that this could harm your computer. Same as dot uh, exe files usually do it. For some reason this fabric installer doesn't. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just because it can make changes. Uh, but just drag that when you're ready. 
uh, or when it's downloaded into that Minecraft uh, mods folder. So that one's done. We'll then go on to the replaymod.com download and of course because we're doing 1.14.4 we want the latest version. There's two different ones. There's a download and there's a mirror. Um, always try the download. It will go through Adfly. If Adfly scares you, uh, kind of escape away. For me, because I've got the ad blocker on, usually it stops me from even getting through just like that. So because I've got the ad blocker on, uh, it doesn't like it at all. Uh, so I'm going to actually go back and I'm going to use the mirror link. Uh, the reason that, there you go, you can see the reason that they actually use the mirror link is because it does give them a little bit of money to um, uh, actually support the mod by using uh, the main link. So there we go, just do that and do OK. Ignore that thing that just flashed up, that was <laughs> my sequel. Um, but there we go, so again, this type of file could harm your computer, etc. and so forth. It's just a .jar file uh, and it's just your computer trying to protect you. And then again, as soon as that's done, drag that and drop that into here. So what we can do now is we can actually start up Fabric. I didn't want to save it, I want to play it. So hit play and let that all load up. And then while it's doing that, we're actually going to be going on to the next bit, which is the FFmpeg. So this is just to render uh, images, which if you're using Replay Mod, you're going to want to render those out as images, or not really images, as, as video files. So we go onto this main website here, we go onto Download. And then for me, I'm going on to the Windows packages, because that's what I, of course, need. So there you go, Windows Builds. That'll take you to this uh, screen here where you get the crazy amounts of colour. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to go on to Download Build, like that. Now while it's doing that, what we can do is, for me, uh, I've got two different drives. I've got my C drive, I've got my D drive. C drive is really just for my uh, operating system. And I put everything else on my D drive. Um, it's up to you, it's just going to be a folder wherever. Uh, so you could create it on your desktop, just maybe something that you don't want to delete. Um, so could go in program files. For me, yeah, I've just created a folder called FFmpeg. Again, doesn't matter about the name. Uh, and that's because I've got a previous version. I'm actually two years behind on my version. So, uh, yeah, create a folder somewhere. Uh, once that zip's done, what we're going to do is just going to do show in folder. We're going to double click on that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to just drag that out of it and get into there. So you're basically unzipping it. Uh, because it's just a normal zip file, uh, Windows has automatically extracted that for me. Uh, but you could use something like WinRAR, for example, to then extract it if you wanted to. And you just shove it into this folder here, nice and easy. If we double click into that, um, so this is the FM FFmpeg version 2019-08-26. So actually it's re recently, uh, two days ago, been updated. Um, and then we're going to go on to bin. And then in here, what we're going to do, we're going to grab that file path. And what I'll do is to make it a little bit easier so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to shove it into um, a notepad and we're just going to put backslash and the one that we want to have is ffmpeg.exe and you could do the same thing where you're keeping it in here uh, but this is something that you'll set up once and then you'll completely forget it even exists, that's why I say maybe your, your um, desktop isn't the best place. But while that's been happening, Minecraft has loaded up, awesome. So what would happen if uh, Replay Mod is properly installed? Uh, if it hasn't, if you've got any issues, then that will come up in uh, this bit here. So I can see that I've actually got mix and apply uh, failed. Okay, so something failed, but it's not it's not bad enough for it to have completely crash. But do have a look in there. Uh, those have a couple other stuff, but do have a look in there for it. So that's do about to find. Um, if you have any errors or anything like that, and give them a Google because it should help. Um, and of course, also check your crash log if you haven't got. Uh, the main game output up. But when you get to this anyway, for most people, just press on skip. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a really, really quick time lapse. Uh, we're actually going to be destroying a dirt hut that I've made earlier. I know. Um, and so on this world here, you'll notice at the top you get this record single player. So that's the way that it kind of works. I will do a further mod in it. And same if you want a multiplayer, you get a record server. So if those both have got, if they've got an X in it, it means it will start recording. So we're going to play a selected world. What we'll now get is you can see this recording up in the top and also in the text you get replay mod record uh, recording started not recording. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually be just smashing some blocks. This is just purely to get a very quick thing. It's up to you guys if you want to do the same just so you can um, so you've done it all once. And I'm actually going to keep that on me. There you go, I'm going to have four fires and that's it. I'm just going to do this in the fire. And that's it. <laughs> so uh, if you just press escape 
Um, I have found some issues with the stop recording. If you stop recording and then do save and quit, it seems to not crash, but it doesn't save the replay. Uh, so use save and quit to title. And then when we get to the back, back to this screen here, if you go into your replay viewer, you'll now see a little file here. So I have the world name, the title name again. I'll do a full, full in-depth video on uh, how to use the replay mod. For now, just go into load. And that will load it up into here, so we can now see that in 1.14.4. Uh, and if you press escape, sometimes you can you get a little bit stuck. If you press escape, then you should be able to move around like normal. I'm just going to do one shot from here, so I'm going to add a key position here. And I'm just going to skip to the end part of this. And I'm just going to do, yeah, I'm going to do 10 seconds, I think. It's going to be enough. Go all the way down to here or something. So I might do something like that. Put in another... Uh, time keyframe but I'm also going to put something in over here so if we press play on this now I've got this whole thing here I'll fly up delete some blocks and then I'll go into the fire you know nice and simple really really basic uh, kind of thing so you need two time keyframes and you need um, just normal keyframes for movement really so now if we go on to the render camera path if you now scroll down one of the things you need to put in and actually mine's already in there Oh, actually, that was, sorry, that was defaulting. Um, this here is actually where we put in this com uh, command line that we've actually done. So this is telling it where uh, FFmpeg is. So if you paste that in, what we should be able to do now is just press render and that should start working. Um, there is a load of different settings that you can go through. Uh, so, you know, do have a look at those. You know, like high quality for us, we're just going to go with default quality. You can set the bit rate, set the frame rate, uh, and also the video resolution. Uh, there is some bits around um, to do with 3D, so yeah, there's there's lots of different things that you can do, but for us, we're just going to do render, and for some reason, it's not liking that. Okay, so for me, what happened is it actually got pasted in twice, so um, yeah, be careful that, I don't know why. Ah, there we go. So if you move, <laughs> if you move everything with your uh, arrow keys, it might be that it's not right at the end of it, so then again, fre freshly paste it in then click on render and then there we go now it's actually working for me so for me it was just because of um, it seems like a minor bug of some kind where if you are pressing backspace it's not actually deleting it's not moving your cursor um, across but there we go you can click on this show as well if you want to have a look at it and just see what we're actually time lapsing out but we'll let that do its thing there we go like that usually you guys will have a screen come up um, it's just remembered my settings and that screen will go to uh, basically say if you wanted to automatically upload it to YouTube or if you wanted to view the folder so if you go into your .minecraft kind of place you'll find this replay videos and that is the video we just played so there we go we can see it there there's our little time lapse uh, it's not very interesting but it is in there but uh, yeah guys I will do a full video on how to use replay uh, to make time lapses as well uh, at a later date but hopefully you guys have found that tutorial interesting and quite good and now you can make some pretty cool time lapses in there uh, make sure to you know comment like and subscribe this video as well let me know if it all went well or if it didn't and uh, I'll try and help you out but yeah guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you on the next one